You procure a resin print, take it out of a curing station, and realize you messed up. Turns out you didn't let it dry properly, and it came out with this chalky residue on it. Yeah, sometimes impatience gets the better of us. So I decided to do some research on how to fix it, which is surprisingly difficult to find good documentation on this. I know I can't be the only person to impulsively cure a resin print. As some of you know, I've been working on a full-sized set of Nike Air Mags. These are the iconic shoes from Back to the Future. But the making process for them has been quite lengthy, mostly due to working with materials I have never used before. While working on them, I decided to try and do a set of mini Nike Air Mags or as I fondly call them, mini mags. While I was doing my resin test, I got into too much of a rush and messed up, resulting in this chalky looking shoe. So I decided to try and clean it. I found a couple of articles and a Reddit post that brought up acetone, so I gave it a shot. I poured acetone onto this model and let it sit for a bit. Then I rubbed more acetone on it with the toothbrush. While I was at it, I tried to clean up this 3D printed Gengar by Psy Wizard, also known as Filament Folly, that I messed up when I started resin 3D printing about a year ago. After a few acetone washes, I tried to wash up some of the chalk with regular water. I tried to let the acetone dry off, but it didn't seem to improve as much as just acetone washing. I settled on doing a little acetone pour over the part, using a toothbrush to brush off some of the chalk and letting it air dry, followed by a quick wash in water. As you can see, there's a big improvement here, so yeah, it's a viable method of cleaning off chalky residue left from improperly dried IPA. Since I don't know anyone else who's tried this, I'm going to assume the best way to clean this is open to debate. In future, I may try to use a conventional resin wash station, but instead of IPA, use acetone to clean this, or possibly use an ultra sonic cleaner but this is possesses a bit of a fire hazard so if anyone tries this proceed with caution